tanecznym bitem. Program doładowuje T-Mobile Electronic Beats. Oglądasz T-Mobile Electronic Beats. How are you? How, how is Dylan Bolin? Good, man. Good. I just got here uh, about four hours ago. I had no sleep last night. I was in Utrecht for no. the Black Sun Empire night blackout. Good. But I parted a little a little hard last night, so I didn't get much yeah. sleep. Oh, okay. So when I got here, I had a belly full of food, and I've laid down for a couple of hours, and I feel a little bit better. You work with Optical. You co-working still together, or, or does this work looks a little bit different? Well, we used to live in the same part of London, like literally around the corner from each other, which made mm. it really easy. But now I kind of moved out of London. I've been outside of London for mm. coming up to two years. The way we work is slightly different now. So instead of like being in the room always mm. together at the same time, it only happens occasionally. Who's responsible for what? You know what? Like you know, there's, we don't have a set formula. It changes mm. all the time. Sometimes I'll bring some beats. Mm. He might bring some arpeggios or... Mm. It, it always changes it's, because if you have your set roles, you get a bit bored. Mm. If he's just the beats guy and yeah, I'm just the bass guy, after like 15, 20 years, it gets a bit boring. Now you have some uh, new albums released. We just released an album um, at the end of last year called No Cure. It's the first time we kind of went back to the 1998 sound of Wormhole that we created back then. So it's kind of a nod to the old school and it's got that kind of, that organic 98 kind of feel to it, like the original kind of neurofunk sound. That's going pretty well. Mm -hmm. We're happy with that. Well, the track will be the hottest track, uh, which you release now. On Piranha Pool, the next one's called Forever. Forever. And people have literally been waiting for it forever because yeah. I made it uh, quite a long time ago, but um, it still sounds pretty mm -hmm. fresh. So that's probably, that's going to be the next big one, yeah. And then um, I've started my own label called Piranha Pool, which we've done two, only two releases so far, but the third one's coming out in a couple of months. Mm -hmm. And that's basically a way for me to kind of put out my solo stuff. Also, I'm using it as a platform to nurture like young talent and to bring through new up and coming producers that I think are making good sounding music that need a platform for exposure. Uh, you're working from uh, 92, so you, you are already like old school guy or you're still keeping the shape and uh, you are still one front of, uh, uh, of this, what will happen in next season? The scene's always evolving and it's always changing. And that's what I find fascinating about it. I'm not stuck in the old mm. school. Like in my sets, sometimes I play some of the older stuff that we're known for, like Bacteria and Sick Note and that kind of thing. But most of the times, especially in the UK, you only get an hour to play. And in an hour, you can't really go on an adventure with old school. Mm. So I just play upfront stuff. So I think it's really important you keep current and you keep up with the current trends. And some of these young kids now are making some incredible stuff. So you've got to try and at least keep up with them or try and mm. stay one step ahead, you know. You, you are also father now, so I how, am. how it is to be an, an artist and a father as well. As I imagine, like, you finish your set and then people came in to you and everybody want to drink with you. How is your liver? It's, it's my okay, liver's, yeah, it's my liver's probably f not in good shape, <laughs> to be exactly. honest. Exactly. <laughs> it's part of the job. No, of course. But as far as the kids go, I mean, I've got two girls. One's two girls. just turned 10 and the youngest one is five. What they listen, what they like to listen? They're, they're very much bass conscious. Mm. Um, they like hip hop, especially. The, the five-year-old's not too sure what she mm. likes. She likes Justin Bieber and all that, kind of, which is fine. You know, that's all good. Yeah, it's good, but very the 10 good year olds, The 10 year old she likes like, you know, she likes like the hip hop stuff. Like, she, yeah. she loves a new Miss, Missy Elliott track. Yeah. That's her favorite thing at the moment. So yeah, she's. I'm trying to teach her, mm. you know, trying to, trying to educate her in the right way. Yeah, but she likes bass. Like, she would, she's my child, she's gonna like bass. Your work, if you need to say how hard it is from one till ten, what number you would say? Like? The pleasure factor's ten. Ten. Oh, it's, a, it's the best job in the world, man. The actual DJing side of it and the making music is a pleasure. It's the fun part. The hardest part is the travel. Travel and travel. drinking. Yeah, no, I mean, the drinking's not difficult. It's, <laughs> it's nice. I mean, you, the next day it's always difficult. Yeah, the know, next day's like, tough, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sundays are usually a bad day. Yes, right after yes. Friday, Saturday, Sunday's a write off. Oh, yes. You get home, you're like, oh, yeah. I fall asleep on the couch, you know. But <laughs> the traveling's the hardest thing. The traveling's the hardest yeah. thing. I went to Australia and New Zealand for New mm. Year, and I was away for six days, and I spent basically five days on a plane, four and a half oh. days on a plane, yeah. and about, I spent eight hours in Australia. 
I landed in Australia, mm. I was there for eight hours, and then I went home. Yeah, there's always look from uh, TV Crazy. screens that artists are so like chill out guys who all the time drinking, partying, and just playing music, but in reality it's quite a tough job. Like. Yeah, it can be, it can yeah. be, you know, it's a great job, it's better than going to an office and, and working for the big man, you know, it's, uh, but it's, it has its moments. If you like to meet new people, you like to travel, no, you like different, different foods, it's a dream job, man. Yes, yeah. Maybe in the end we're gonna play in some game. I'm not native English speaker, but maybe we will try. I will, we will see how it go, when it go, uh, will go on. Okay. Uh, I will say a sentence, uh, then you saying sentence with the rhyme to the sentence, and then saying. We can give it a try. We can give it a try. We'll see what's going on. You're a rapper, though, so you have a yeah, big advantage. Uh, yeah, yeah, I just wait for this, you know. I just wait for this moment. So I'm going to go to big travel. Check out my house. It's got a big gravel drive with a Lamborghini parked outside. And then I will swim in it like in bright night. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going through it like a bird. Flying into the sun because he's number one when it comes to dropping the Don Don Rap Don. <laughs> That's got to be it, man. Okay, hey man, it's the cheers burial. again. It's the burial. Nice. That was good. I don't have a Lamborghini, by the way. Yeah, uh, maybe next year. Yeah, fingers crossed. Hey. Tanecznym bitem program doładowuje T-Mobile Electronic Beats. Oglądałeś T-Mobile Electronic Beats.